traveled well. You know, we came out and were very, very explosive early in the game on offense. And, you know, defense had to battle off. They, they did a great job of, of changing things up and scoring points. But our defense really did a great job in the second half, changed it around. And, you know, I'm, I'm impressed with the win. We also did a good job on special teams, but particularly in covering kickoffs. And we were concerned about it going in. that They have a good kickoff returner. Um, so it was a great team win. Bobby, how about Lamar Jackson? Man, he didn't play against Syracuse last year. This is our first look at him. Phenomenal. Yeah, he had a great game. You know, uh, what I'm really proud of is how he prepared for the game. You know, he worked extremely hard all week. He was, uh, you know, doing a great job of leading during the week, getting everybody else to work hard and practice hard, um, and then just came out here and executed. Threw the ball around and ran real well and, you know, did, did uh, a great job of whatever we asked him to do. How does this kid just keep going? I mean, he, he runs or passes virtually every play. Yeah, you know, he's a very, very well-conditioned guy. When, when we practice, he's sprinting down the field every time, kind of like Rad. It's him and Rad with the contest on who can work the hardest in practice. Mm -hmm. Astounding, record-shattering shattering performance today after last week. Just describe your offense at this point. And, you know, we, we got a way, ways to go. You know, we turned the ball over. We, we felt like, uh, you know, we, we could lose the game if we hurt ourselves, if we stopped ourselves. So I was upset with the turnovers, the fumbles. You know, the interception before half was just trying to make a play. Um, really, I should have ran the ball and kicked a field goal. I was getting a little bit greedy there. So that was really is on me, not on Lamar. Um, but, you know, our offensive line continues to get better and all our players enjoy touching the ball and making plays. And you know what I like is they cheer for each other and they work hard to get their number called. The way, he started of, the, game, the way he started the game, I know you'd always like the script to have it work yeah. out that way, but to score three times in five touches, I mean, what are you thinking at that point? Or yeah, bit, I'm thinking, man, we relax. prepared well, you know, uh, but the first play was very well protected. Lamar was perfect on his set. James ran a great route, and it was a perfect strike and ran the ball in the end zone. You know, then we came back and executed really well and, uh, you know, felt like that we needed to keep going. I kept talking to him about taking care of the ball, taking care of the ball, but unfortunately we turned it over a couple times. People talk about Deshaun Watson. Do you think you have the best quarterback in this league? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't see all the quarterbacks, you know, and Deshaun Watson is a great football player. Um, we're excited to, to move on to, to play Florida State next week. We're going to worry about practicing hard, doing a good job in practice. Um, I think Lamar is a really special young man. He makes, it, he makes it fun to coach because he's always smiling and working extremely hard and is a great competitor. So we just got to continue to get better. The first two weeks, it seems like he can do whatever he wants. I mean, play. He, he, he makes it look so easy. Is that just... Yeah, he's a talented guy, you know, and um, but believe me, it's not easy. He put a lot of hard work into it, into his preparation, and, you know, I thought today he did a good job on the sideline, continuing to learn and get better as the game went on. Bob, you had uh, 845 yards. I mean, what do you kind of think about just when you think of that? Um, I mean, that's record. the first I ever heard about ACC it right there. Record. So, you know, I feel like we probably should have had a few more. You know, we need to execute and get better and not, not turn the ball over. I mean, what are your thoughts on a, a crowd booing when guys are down? And yeah, I don't like that. You know, I don't, I don't like it. I think it's wrong. Um, you know, they have no idea what the injury is or, or what it is. So I don't think there's a, that that's a good thing. I, I hope that we get rid of that in football. Bobby, what, uh, what do you think of the momentum this gives you going into that you know, huge game this week? Yeah, you know, we, we'll get a day off tomorrow, bring them back in on Sunday and um, be excited to, to go through the video with them, see where we can improve and get ready for a, a very, very good football team in Florida State. Um, certainly, you know, it's a big game and, and we got them at home and Papa John, so it should be an exciting time for us. We just got to prepare well and get ready to play. You about 10 drop passes today. Is that a concern in a game where Sure, you're yeah. To... Yeah, we don't like dropping the ball, and, and uh, we'll, we'll work as hard as we can to correct that. But they also made a lot of plays. You know, I think that that's the good thing is, is you know, it didn't affect them. Um, they were able to put it behind them, move on to the next play, and, and make plays. So if they catch them, you might have had 1,000 yards of offense. Yeah, you know, you, you don't Maybe really deal in things like that. We just work hard. All right, guys, we got to go in. We gotta go in. All right. Thank you very much.